Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pella, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this morning with the scripture reading from James chapter 4, verse 13 through chapter 5, verse 6. Come now, you who say, Today or tomorrow we will go to such and such a town and spend a year there, doing business and making money. Yet you do not even know what tomorrow will bring. What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, If the Lord wishes, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. Anyone then who knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, commits sin. Come now, you rich people, weep and wail for the miseries that are coming to you. Your riches have rotted and your clothes are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver have rusted, and their rust will be evidence against you, and it will eat your flesh like fire. You have laid up treasure for the last days. Listen, the wages of the laborers who mowed your fields, which you kept back by fraud, cry out. When the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts, you have lived on the earth in luxury and in pleasure. You have fattened your hearts in a day of slaughter. You have condemned and murdered the righteous one who does not resist you. That is our scripture reading this morning. Please join me now for a time together in prayer. Let us now pray together. Dear Lord, we are here today with open hearts and, and open hands, ready to depend on you to help us through the day and all that it will bring our way. Help us to come to you for guidance, strength, provision, and protection. As we face tough choices and hard situations, help us to remember our belovedness. Help us remember that we are your child and your representative to the world around us. Help us live today in a way that brings honor to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Have to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m. Hope you all have a wonderful Thursday today.